Oh my gosh, we can get double gray zucchini. That's fun. It's not exactly cornucopia. But good enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it, boys. I'm, oh, believe you me, I'm doing this. We can heal too first. Let's take the heals, why not? Dreams are made of dear. Everybody. <laughs> Double great zucchini. Let's go. Probably for the win. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the all out ramp to secret cornucopia. Cornucopia, of course, is the 10 cost car that makes a random plant uh, in every other lane. Now, as you can see, there actually is no cornucopia. That's why it's a secret. The way you make cornucopia is by ramping up, playing Astro Vera. Uh, this is going to make you survive because it gives you 10 extra health. It's an 8 drop. And then you do the combo the next turn on turn 9. Or when you have 9 sun, it's going to be Pear Paradise, which will make uh, any plant you play into it double up. And you're going to play Molokale into the Pear Paradise. The first Molokale will turn... Uh, this 8 drop into a great zucchini, which turns all the zombies into little 1-1s, one and then the second molecule will turn that 9 drop into the only 10 cost plant in the game, which is Cornucopia. Uh, we are combining this, never really done this idea before, with an all-out ramp deck. I've had a lot of success doing this with Rose, so really looking forward to doing it with Solar Flare, who happens to have a little bit of extra ramp in her uh, superpower kit, so that's nice. Um, running this just to be able to control those cheese cutters on one, but it's ramp. It's ramp means you're making extra sun every single turn, so you're able to play late game cards early. So typically when we're ramping, we're playing really powerful, you know, five cost cards like um, Allosaurus and uh, Astricado, but instead uh, you're ramping just to more ramp. Battle Petal Sunflower is actually good in this deck if you're playing it at least one turn early, even playing this on turn three. It really counters zombie three drops well, plus. It also adds one sun to the board next turn, and you're able to get then on turn four, able to play one of your six drops. We're running a lot of six drops. Cob Cannon, really powerful removal card. We have plenty of team ups uh, in order to utilize the Cob Cannon's ability. Play it on it will remove things. It can clear three lanes. Toadstool also now, not a very strong card, but again, if you can play this early in the game, you know, this can swallow, like on turn four, this can eat an entire bounty hunter. Uh, basically anything they're playing you know on turn four so if you, you definitely want to be able to ramp to this not only does it remove a card put a four four body on the field put a six drop on the field which you can leap using your molecule into a seven drop so that's really powerful it also gives you an extra sun so then the next turn you're actually going to be at turn eight already and you're able to play your astro vera uh, i'm running catch a mechanic because you uh, you know if there's really aggro decks like pirates and uh stuff like that you really want to be able to heal and counter this definitely Counters decks that put a lot of small, small spammy guys on the field. Uh, and then just like a little bit of removal with Berry Blast. Then more Spore Power is going to be useless. I was thinking about maybe running um, like Gloomshroom in this deck. But there's just no room for it. You just really need a lot of ramp in order to be able to consistently ramp up to turn 8. Get your Astro Berry in early and then hit him with the Secret Cornucopia combo. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. I'm going to sort of take this deck a little bit seriously. I, I do want to get Secret Cornucopia as much as possible. But... Like, you could really, once you set up any of your 6 drops, or even your 3 and 4 drops, to be able to then use a Molokale to leap them. You know, we always have that option in the pocket. You have a lot of expensive cards in the deck, so Molokale is really good. Um, so we will do some bets. These games are probably going to take a long time. So we'll do 8 games today. If you think this deck will win 6 out of 8, vote, vote yes. 5 out of 8 or fewer is a no. Of course, we're betting our channel points called fries over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash fry up you always want to get rid of the molecule combo you'll draw into those later you want some ramp um i guess against boogaloo we'll keep some removal this should be fine always get a oh man starting off with our not only a removal you know anti-aggro card but also every single this is busted by the way every single turn i get one more sun how is that fair i'm gonna save it here since we're not urgently needing to ramp to anything next turn so it's good to actually use this to be able to remove something uh, in case he plays you know, on Life of the Party or whatever. There's that. So this is interesting idea. We can we can ramp here. We'll have five sun next turn. We can go two plus you know three and two. This dies to a berry blast no matter what. Uh, I think I will ramp because two damage is not a lot. It's it, it, you know the aerobics instructor. 
or aerobics conductor, as 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 it's probably called. Put that on heights, player. I don't know, nothing really. Um, the aerobics instructor is a very powerful card if you let it go because it's gonna buff all the Xanting zombies But it always dies to berry blast. There's nothing he can do unless he plays hover goat I guess that would be the thing, but you know what if he has it he, actually we can still just use these two cards So if he has well, let's take the ramp We'll have a lot of resources to establish more ramp and kill this anyway next turn So it's probably gonna end up being catch a mechanic and then berry blast lane four. We'll see if he plays another card here It could just end up being these two. Um, how good is putting a 3-3 on the board? I feel like it trades evenly with the backup dancers. I think I'm just going to do this play and not catch up yet. And it also does again give us the ramp, so. We can use the catch up probably better later. We'll hit three guys with it. It looks like it's a, you know, a swarm dance deck, so... Catch-up mechanic's gonna be really good. Yeah, I mean, just like that, though, I mean, we're gonna be making now, if this Twin Sunflower lives, I think we're making seven. We're still making five sun this turn on turn four. That'll be great. Nice extinction. It's okay. There's no, like, rush, you know? It's a ramp deck, but if they're using all these resources, you're efficiently answering their cards. They're not getting any early game damage. It's all good. So this should be fine. You know, there's not a whole lot. Unless there's another extinction event, there's not a whole lot he can do to fix this trade. Even if he uses a bungee or a lightning bolt, it's still a two for one. And if he doesn't deal with it, it gives us ramp. <laughs> not, nothing really goes wrong here. An extinction event would be sad, but that's fine. I'll take the two for ones. Now we have card advantage just like that. So we're just ahead. <laughs> And he's not going to out-card advantage these late-game cards. It's just never going to happen. There is also plays where you just set up your Repair Paradise and then you stick Astro Bear into it. I think I just pass here. Screw this guy. Wait, pass turn 5 with nothing on the board? Was it going to Locust Horn? The man is going to Locust. Should I just establish Cobb Cannon? Because who cares? I don't know. Pass. Screw it. I'm not in a rush. I might set this up next turn. I guess if it's safe, I'll set it up and we'll get the double Astro Bear. I don't see a Molo kill yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm saving this for turn 9. Screw it. So we'll just play Cobb Cannon. We can go catch up Berry Blast. Should I just play the Cobb Cannon right now? I think I do. Screw this guy. If he removes this with a, a Locust Storm, I don't know what he's doing. That means he just won't have that card for the Astro Baron. We'll get the Cornucopia. It's really cool having an empty field. He's got 20 health. They haven't hit him yet. We have 18. It's like a it's like a new game, and you're just starting off with a, just a Cornucopia wave. That's like the best case scenario. If you have already a bunch of guys in the field, the Cornucopia is less impactful. Cornucopia, by the way, is not a good card because it mostly just makes useless ones and twos. Uh, every once in a while, you'll have a cornucopia that makes a banana and a great zucchini, and it's amazing, but yeah, it only happens uh, <laughs> once in a while. Yep, dry cab. Cobb, what are the bets? Everyone in the chat is talking about the bets, which I'll have nine here. I'll take a look in seven seconds. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's happening. <laughs> the secret. He didn't have an answer to this. He's not going to have the Astro Bear. He's just not going to have it. We could also just do the cornucopia play now, but what fun would that be for real? Cobb is, Cobb is fine, dry. You know, 666 in this situation, you don't have an answer. And especially because it does, it reduces stats of up to three zombies. This is just a really, really, really good card. One of the best cards in the game. Good old Cobb Cannon. It's hard to even have, like, any, you know, ramp deck that doesn't have Cobb Cannon. And it's hard to find an excuse not to run it. 86% um, of people voted yes. Including someone who voted a whopping 250,000 fries on Yes, going all in. Should I say, see who it was? I think it says who did it. His name is Vampire Flower. Oh, did that guy just concede? <laughs> he couldn't. I mean, we answered all of his cards, so that was just a typical Solar Flare, just absolutely controlling and destroying.
Boogaloo in 4K. There's also someone else, John, who who did 150,000 on you. So we got some people who is all in. Let's go on the bets. It's a big payoff if we don't win this. Yeah, but again, opponent played a card. We were ahead. They concede or disconnect. We can't let us win over here in the stream. So we'll get rid of these for sure. Oh, this should be fine. I didn't explain actually during the intro why I'm only running two twin sunflowers and uh, four of the sunnier shrooms. I just, we don't, a twin sunflower played on turn two, so on turn three, you have five sun. You don't really have anything to play on turn three. I guess there's metal pedal. It's not as important as the sunnier shroom, which is hard to remove on turn three, and then you can go right up to either cob cannon or toad. That is a sumo. That is a sumo. Um, the one in three chance of one of the guys landing here. Uh, well, it's not a very good chance. I'm thinking of actually trying to ramp, but. There's not a whole lot we can actually do with the ramp yet. Let's just pass. Oh, it's Swash. Never mind. I really thought it was Sumo. So that's very blastable. It's not a big deal. I really thought it was a Sumo. You know, turn two, you know, black hole on one, Swash on two. It means you can't really front this card. It's a pretty good play. Man, look at this guy. This is really a rough situation right now. I wonder what we do. We can play this as a 4 4 next turn. And then Berry Blast the Headstone Carver. So it's kind of odd, but I think this is the play. Uh, I guess we don't have a lane for the catch up, but we'll see. What. We can spam the Morse. We'll have six suns, so we can actually spam Morse Spore, then catch up, and then Berry Blast. That oh, looks good. The more spore just fills the you. That goes up to 4-4 four, four, though. This guy's on a roll. The more spore will go in ahead and actually protect the uh, Sunny Urshan. So that's awesome. Alright, let's hope that the... It doesn't end up... It's very likely we'll have the catch mechanics. mechanic, so that's great. Then we hit him with this for 4-4. Four, four. It also heals. Question is, should I ramp or berry blast here? I feel like the berry blast might be useful if he uses a healthy treat, so I'm just gonna set up some more ramp. I, you know, this the swashbuckler. We're gonna need to end the end like that. We're gonna need to answer. Oh no! I didn't plan on going viral at all. There wasn't really much of an option to. But yeah, that's the ramp just died, so it's okay. Oh. We're finally blocking. Uh, I guess if we get Weed Whack, even Scorch will... Eh, Scorch is really good. Because not only does it kill the Swashbuckler, it keeps the Sunny Airstream alive. So that's huge. I think we have eight now? We actually are up to Astro Bear already. We're fine. <laughs> it looks like we're back behind, but we're really not. We can also Cob Cannon Berry Blast. It's a huge play. Tremendous. I guess it depends what he plays. They're both really, really... We have two amazing plays right now. Um, we can also end up covering this later. Bro, gosh. Cobb Berry Blast is looking way better, because this does 7 anyway. We're only healing for 10. So it's going to be Cobb. Cobb first. Kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. Berry Blast the Warlord. And all of a sudden, this guy... We're not even going to be making... Enough nice room. All of a sudden, this guy's kind of out of business. He has nothing. He has, he's down to <laughs> down to nothing, and we have plenty of health. We have 30 health, essentially. Scorch was really, really good. Hell yeah. I wouldn't say it's a miracle, but it was quite fine indeed.
This is interesting. I wonder if we do the... Does Metal Pedal really help here? It makes us able to play Astro Barrel. I don't need to play two. I can always do that later. All right, let's actually play this. I'll save a ground lane in case we need a pair. We're probably always going to pair Paradise here, though. Can we still win this trade? Another going viral? It would hurt. Oh my gosh. Another going viral brings us up to... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> no, don't block. <laughs> we need heals. The good news is... We have heals. Many, many heals. Got a 6 health. We're good, guys. We're good, we're good. I thought it was a pogo, too. I really thought it was gonna be pogo. Turns out it was garbage. So now what? 16 health. I probably should kill this headstone carver, right? It's getting too much value. And yeah, who knows, maybe we'll top deck a cornucopia. He's not gonna do 16 this turn, probably not. Oh my gosh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that! That's like the highest attack gravestone, for real. Other than a... It's tied for first play. So he's doing 12? Holy crap. Can you stop? Uh, so we win these two traits and we're still ramping. We're still okay here. <laughs> it's scary, but we're fine. This man's got sneaky imps for years. Can we get Secret Cornucopia already? That's cool. Okay, we have cop combo, which is awesome. Let's check out the, the, the mug. Uh, so mugs in two. And then Stealthy Imp in 3, and the Octopet stayed still. He might go for a uh, going viral Keep here. Making great content and lame jokes, Daddy Fry. It's gotta be this, there's no other play. Thank you, Egad. Oh, I know there's a way I'm supposed to pronounce your name, but I don't remember. It's something backwards. I'm just going with Egad. Antonio? No. <laughs> this man's got... I'm glad he's spamming it, so we're gonna be able to really have this a little bit more permanently on the board. He did not have a going viral. I guess it wasn't playable anyway, so that's good. Uh, so now what? Hell yeah? Oh my gosh, could you not play mugs every single turn? So it's Mug Mug and the octopus is still in the water. Wait! Oh, we played another card. So now what? This should be a decent time to go for the, the, the Cornucopia play. So I'm gonna play this here. It'll make the team up, which is cool. It's a, you know, it's a four drop, so. Like that. Wait a second. This is gonna be dragging things out. It's so weird. It's gonna... I think I'll do it here so we can block the, one of the mugs. I'm pretty sure these cards are gonna uh, leap things and then get dragged out in that order. So this is really strange. It should make... It, it's gonna make... This environment should activate before this one, unless I screwed that up. Oh, uh, the left one went... Oh, never mind. The left one. Okay. Dragon? We'll take dragon. And then... Is there a team up here that's getting... Oh, this team up got... Oh, that's cool. It's fine. The dragon takes out whatever he played in, in lane 5. Uh, unfortunately, our one team up card is dying, so the cup cannon can't utilize that. Is that good? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it dies. Why did he frenzy that? That didn't make any sense. Bruh. Bruh. We'll use this next turn for sure. If Cobb Cannon kills this, and we can weed whack whatever. Weed whack whatever. That's cool. I think we're good. He only has one card. We're... F oh, my gosh. He played another mug. I think it, it's guaranteed lethal, though. Because if we play this here, and we berry blast his his freaking face, 
Yeah, that's guaranteed. Got him. <laughs> I love how we won that game. That was amazing. This deck just can sustain some some heavy. Oh, holy crap! With the warlord, I'm glad he didn't have like well, the warlord. I'm glad we killed that before he played these three mixed up grave diggers. Holy crap! Got him. Yeah, he wasted that frenzy. In fact, that frenzy would have won him the game this turn. Well, no, it wasn't playable. It wasn't. Well, he could have not mugged. Uh, it's a little convoluted, convoluted to be a high, uh, a fail comp worthy, but it was a fail for sure. If he saved it, he could have just not played Mug and then won with it. That would have def yeah, he definitely should have held that for a while and do anything. <laughs> there were two now. I love All Out Ramp. I love All Out Ramp and I love Secret Cornucopia. These are two of really my favorite all time strategies. I don't do enough All Out Ramp. We had one really good Rose stream. You can find that somewhere. I think it was called like when half your deck is Ramp or something like that. But then combining that with one of the most fun <laughs> other fun streams, I guess with Solar Flare Secret Cornucopia, this is really working out here. Uh, get rid of the Molecule. Uh, I'd like an early game card. I probably should have mulliganed the metal pedal. We have weed whack, fortunately. I, I should have really gotten rid of one of these. We need like a one or a two. Make it fail with like the smart, only the the convoluted fails. It's gonna be too hard because it's it takes like a year to make a fail comp like that, and then. My editor is going to have to keep track of those clips and save them, and I don't know. <laughs> that would be crazy. 32 ramp card deck? That sounds about right. We ran there like Dragon as a finisher. With Rose, which is a great, and you have Brainanas in that deck. The Brainanas and the Dragons were, the, were clutch. We've never really done all-out ramp with Solar Flare before, ever. So this is really... <laughs> All out ramp, meaning instead of ramping to big cards like Allosaurus, you're ramping to Metal Pedal and Toad. You know what I mean? You're ramping to more ramp. That's why it's just all out. And you get to eight drops really easily. Yep, we're doing eight games today. Kicking some ass so far, but we're also 40 minutes into the live stream after two games. Took a little bit of time to make the deck. It was it was challenging. Bro, bro. So we actually have to do it to this one, so he doesn't. You know, he, we need to make him run out of cards. That's our win condition. So it's only four damage. It's not that bad. It's like putting two, two twos on the board. And uh, we should be able. If he plays one more card, then this kills the cat lady next turn. So very happy we are running catch a mechanic. It's, it's really important for the stick to run a little bit of heals. If you're trying to get that late, turn eight combos. It's really turn nine that we're playing for. You gotta have some some heals. If he doesn't play another minion here, I guess I'll just play the the sunnier shroom, and then we'll we'll play like you know two cards next turn. Oh, that's fine. The question is, should I be taking out the Yeti or the or the Cat Lady? The Cat Lady's more dangerous. The Yeti, well, hmm. The Yeti just sort of is card draw. It's giving them a bunch of lunch boxes. They're not that impactful. I think we go after the Cat Lady since he really, really does need that. It's also this is going to be easier to take. We to get a berry blast. We actually don't really have an answer to Yeti because three four dies to lunchbox. But um, we can get a berry blast. We can kill this way easier than a three four. Maybe I'll just put a two one on it and hope we get our uh, our super. Uh -oh. That's so awkward. It's only a 3-3, so this is fine. This is like, look at this card. It's the perfect answer, and it's also ramping us. Unbelievable. He's doing nothing. This man doing nothing, doing nothing. Save that for sure. 
Uh, super would have been nice there. But yeah, this just makes the, the cat buffed. It's not worth it. For one extra health on this guy. And just like that, we're at Cobb Cannon already. A little awkward Cobb Cannon. It really would be nice to make more ramp here. For the ramp for the watch. You know what? I, I'm ignoring these cards. Screw this Yeti. I don't care. I'm establishing ramp. Once again, just makes the cob cannon, and you know if we can, if we can keep all these ramp cards, even just the 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 sunnier shroom, we get Allosaurus already. That's okay. Again, that was his lightning bolt. That was fine. <laughs> oh, he's gonna buff that. So funny. Uh, cob cannon now kills this when we play dry, so that's a good cob cannon. I have to kill this Yeti though, it's kind of keeping him in the game. Boop, 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 boop. There's a berry blast. There's, there's a berry blast. There's a berry blast. There's a berry blast. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think I spend this yet. Uh, he can spend the lunchbox and let us live. I think he has two anyway in his hand. He's also blocking and all of his superpowers except for backup dancers kill us. Berry last. So that's card advantage for us. Give me a dragon. Oh my gosh. It's only doing one damage to us this turn. It's just a matter, once we play one of these, he's not going to be able to do 20 more damage here. Right? I'm singing, um... I'm singing Seven Nation Army. I was just listening to that before when I was working, so... It's stuck in my head, and now it's stuck in all your heads. Have a nice day. It's a berry blast. It's a berry blast. Oh, we can actually just do all of this. I'll play the cucumber here too. Why the, why the hell not? It's a berry blast. <laughs> He's probably gonna buff this card. He's paying back. <laughs> he missed. The man missed. The man has some lunch. Give the man some some dinner. This is gonna end the game here. It's a bear with bear. Let's not play that. Loving all the we can't make a play next turn. Especially the freeze no chill one. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you're you, awesome. Coaster. I'm glad you guys have been liking the content. I'm having so much positivity around the channel these days. I really appreciate it. Y'all. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's like you know. Dancing Dex is just another one of these, or Pet Dex actually, that was with Conman and a couple weird cards. It's just like once you control those first few turns, it, it runs out of cards so fast. You just you can't get to the total of damage. All the cards are too cheap. The thing that stands out about Seven Nation Army is how simple and basic the drumming is. You're right. The beat is literally. Nothing complex about it at all. <laughs> For the music nerds out there. It's a bar I'm gonna really concentrate on getting controlling pirates. It's fine. <laughs> this this hand can be pirates, no problem. And he passed turn one, that's a good sign. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> It's worth building bad moon feasting. No. It's not a... Guard feast is not a deck that can... That, it's not a good deck. It's not a good card. If this is Swash, you might want to Berry Blast it next turn. It's a little awkward hand right now. 
I'm gonna do this. this lane's in here. I'm just gonna spam catch up until this guy shuts. That's the game plan, you guys. In fact, <laughs> oh, god damn it. Any of our superpowers would have been so good except for this one. Come on, man. It's a berry blast. Oh, it's berry blast. If he plays an act, well, actually, no, this is only a 2 2. It feels bad, man. Maybe playing this to be able to counter the flame phase into berry blast next turn would have been fine. Ah, no, it's gonna grow. Never mind. We'll be okay. Ow. Still pirates, though. I'm just glad I'm running. I'm just. I play to counter pirates every single. That's <laughs> not. There's no point. Home with the Baron Blast. Um, this doesn't really do a lot against the Flame Face as a 3 3. It makes it able to be Berry Blasted next turn, which is really important. So we'll catch up Berry Blast next turn. In the meantime, this more Spore, it blocks two damage, kills a guy. It's okay. It's not gonna block this because it's a pirate. It's a strike through. Oh my gosh. Stop stealing my block. Stop stealing my that's my block meter. It's my block meter. Bro. It's so much damage still. Ridiculous. At least we're stable. In terms of our health and all that. We need our super, is what we really need. I'm gonna not do that. What the hell? What is he running? I wonder if I have to block this one. If we do four, then the cop cannon kills it next turn, or Scorch. I'm gonna go with this, so we can't afford to take five damage. And again, it's not strike through. We're doing that. Five damage, too much. Now instead of instead of like five health, we have eight. That's huge. Your mom's huge. Oh, cob cannon. There's an, also an option to not cob cannon here. We could scorch. Plus, yeah, I don't know. Nothing. Hopefully that's not line dancing zombie. I guess if it is, it dies to scorch anyway. But that's a good cob cannon. Look at Cobb Cannon. 6-6. Six, six. Takes two guys out. Including one that was very problematic. Damn. Another flame face. That, I, I don't like that bungee. Oh uh, no. That was go face, bro. He's throwing. He's not. Why does he need to kill this card? Why does he care? On 20 health full, half a block meter. Why does he care that I have a 6-6? Six, six? I have three health. That was him hard inting. Hard. Bro. What are you doing, dude? Oh, I hope this is not a strike through minion or else we're still dead. My gut instinct is four and one. I, I don't really see another option here. That that instead is actually a huge problem because it's four dead. We have to not let him proc or block. Ugh. I don't think we're ever gonna have even an answer. As long as it's not a strike through minion, we're good. Thank the Lord. But we're still in humongous trouble. I might have to... I don't know, is Molekill able to give us like a heal or something? This can make it manageable if we top deck a Berry Blast. I also like the extra sun. Yeah, luckily he doesn't have Infinity Clones anymore. We're up to 10, but I just don't have... He throw, 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 throw. What?! He top deck Plank Walker. Gondola. Okay, now we need a miracle. What well, seven drops are either gonna be, um, it, it's Grapes of Wrath. I should have this memorized on the top of my head. What's the other seven? Soul Patch. So we need a Soul Patch. It's gonna be four. Well, we can scorch this one. So we'll play the one. It's four four one one. We, I guess we'll scorch after, cause why not? So it's like this. 
Like this. Like this. Come on, Soul Patch, we need you. I don't know, does it even matter though? Oh my gosh, we grabbed this in. So this doesn't do damage now. I think this is the miracle here. Because this... I mean, the six damage is five plus five to the Soul Patch. So the Soul Patch dies there. But the Plank Walker dies. This five, six would have been down to little. We grab this in with the Sweet Pea. So that dies for free to the Melon Pole. Scorch kills... Scorch kills lane four. I mean, we were fine there. And the Plank Walker would have died to that melon. That was an insane Molokel. I mean, that was... Uh, that was... I don't know about him conceding there. Like, what if he top decks another Plank Walker? He had 20... He conceded with 20 health. But it was the sheer impact of how insanely good that Molokel was that made that guy just say, holy... He just got really frustrated... And bit the bullet. But I do survive that turn a million percent, which is so cool. <laughs> that is... That, that is highlight. That is definitely highlight comp. What the hell? That plank walk was crazy. And then so, that molecule saved us. That was, that was insanity. Happy day for all the Jew. I bet you this going on YouTube. Let's go. Oh my gosh, if I was a Teletubby, which one would I be? <laughs> I'll be the white one. <laughs> Why not? Why not make it about race? Let's go. Alright, it's two very decent cards against Zemek. Let's see if we get a third. Ugh. I hate more. It's so. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to spam that. Oh, oh, what am I doing? I was dicking around. I was just playing. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm stupid. What is this guy hacking or what? The man is a hack. Which one of these lanes is more dangerous? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> I hate this card. So bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that a fail? I guess it's a fail. They spell complaining there. Thank you, Google. You're so smart. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna have to get an early secret, co secret coin. Maybe this was actually genius. I still should have saved this for later, though. Instead of giving him unlimited superpowers. He only has that. <laughs> God damn it. Birthday cake. We're still, we still have a lot of health. I think there's a lot of potential here. I'm gonna try to to, to to set this up and I don't know. Something good might happen. Gosh. Honestly, turn four and then five, having these cards turn into three drops would have been really good. Man. But you know. 
I don't know. I, this is so bad. I'm gonna ruin this freaking game. <laughs> Just from playing this on turn one. No, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is bad. Ah, oh, him having going viral kind of seals the deal on this one, huh? Actually, if we get... I think if we get Weed Whack, I'm gonna... Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna keep this, this card up. Desperation Scorch. Just so we don't die. Maybe a Miracle Molecule will get us back into this game. Birthday <laughs> friend. Right now, having this Morspore back to play... Well, actually, no, I can't play Morspore and then Molecale. Aha, so maybe it was genius. Maybe this will turn into a catch -up mechanic and we'll just be fine. I wonder if I actually... Now that I have Metal Pedal, I might just go for that. The 4 health is really hard for him to take out, and the 3 plus 3... It's gonna be, again, it's actually 4 and 4 wins, and never mind. We need a Miracle. <laughs> Great for a miracle, guys. We're getting a five drop and then like a three. That doesn't help at all. Active ability there. I don't know even what it would be. Come on, catch a mechanic. Come on. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> wow, making us instantly lose. Oh no, it's getting worse. <laughs> that was sad. Where's Jumping Bean? God damn it! That game was a train wreck! I think we actually could have possibly won that game if I hadn't been dicking around with my cards before. Oh my gosh, that's going in the fail comp. I didn't do it on purpose, I promise. <laughs> Come on, man. It's something about using the mouse with blue stacks is what I'm using now. No. Sometimes it does awkward things. Two of these too much? We got some ramp going. This is the combo we're really looking for. We're looking for turn one, and turn two we'll go for this, and then turn three cop cannon. <laughs> Hell yeah. I might even stick this in front to protect it because the cop cannon is coming in hard. Oh my gosh. I got some six drops. He's gonna do nothing here. We'll put it behind. He can't even alien ooze. He can't even do anything. Let it flow, let it flow. Yeet. Missed. We can't really do anything with the five sun, so <laughs> that was still impactful. Maybe I'll just set this up now. So we'll get double cob cannon coming up. Coming on up. It's line dan- oh my god, it's line dancing zombie. It's Jason Bourne. If this ain't line dancing zombie, I don't know, man. It's a hundred percent line dancing. So next turn, we're gonna have four sun, Ugh. five. It doesn't do anything. This might still be a decent play. I wonder if I should play the more spore here to kill the line dancing zombie. All right, screw it. I'll do that first, and then this goes here now. Why did he not do that in lane one? I'm so confused. Why is he not trying to kill my ramp? All right, I guess I'm a monkey. Just took a cold medicine. I feel like a sniff coming out. I feel like a little sniffy sniffy coming out. I might just toad in lane two here. <laughs> what is this guy? He's running Swabby? 
Imagine running Swabby. Just Toad. I saw a sign on someone's driveway. They had a pink car. It said, Princess Parking. Violators will be Toad. T-O-A-D. Beautiful sign. I hope he doesn't have an environment. If he doesn't, then we actually get <laughs> we get double Astro Baron next turn. That'll be pretty good. That was a good toad. Yeah, I don't know what this guy, goofy ass guy, doing. I don't even know. The block. It's gonna galvanize that. I don't care. I don't care. I I have I have. 34 health right now. I'm fine. <laughs> we is good, guys. We is good. Is there a different play? Is there any reason the cow can in here? Not really. I don't care. I don't care in. Well, cow can in next turn. We gotta take this while we have it. <gasps> cow cannon saves our toad. I literally don't care. Sweet dreams are made of these. <laughs> <laughs> looking for something. This guy's looking for a way to do 34 damage this game. That's what this guy's looking for. Oh, he kept the Swabby alive. That was beautiful. Why not keep your, your Yeti alive? I guess he doesn't actually want to clear lane 3 because he's not running any environments. He doesn't want me healing myself for 20 more damage. <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh my gosh, we can get double Great Zucchini. That's fun. It's not exactly Cornucopia, but good enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing it, boys. I'm, oh, believe you me, I'm doing this. We can heal, too, first. Let's take the heals. Why not? Dreams are made of dish. Everybody. <laughs> Double Great Zucchini. Let's go. Probably for the win. <laughs> Secret Great Zucchini. We got... We got on heights, so that's pretty good. We got pair of pairs as our four drop, which sucks absolute dick, but yeah. The man, he was like, he had 35 health, the guy still had hope. We got the double great zucchini who was like, eh eh. Eh 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 eh. Guys, I think the answer is gonna be yes today. Damn, this deck is fun. <laughs> I guess that's the highlight intro, why not? Why not? Maybe if we actually get a, a cornucopia in one of these. Okay, now I'm gonna really try to get the cornucopia. That's we gotta really we haven't gotten the cornucopia yet, guys. Did we get it? No, the guy conceded before we did it. It's so annoying. We had the uh, uh, uh I need an early game card. Oh my gosh, we're bricked. We're gonna lose this one. Please don't be aggro. Just just pad, just don't do any. Okay, that's fine. That's actually really good. <laughs> He's gonna play space time and we're just gonna nerf it and we're we're taking two damage here, we're okay. He'll have a, a two cost cowboy in his hand, but that's fine. Come on, space time. Thank you. This is the infinity I can deal with. Pirates with this hand? Eh, 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 eh. This one though. Got it. Was this guy DMEC before? Did I play against him? I think this, this game's going pretty well so far. No, Zemek was mourning. No, I didn't play against this guy. Zemek was m called mourning. This guy's name is Alv. Ah, uh, this should be fine. He's gonna sugar retreat the space time. I don't care. Yeah, you're definitely high. That wasn't the Zima. Bro! What am I gonna do? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hope for a miracle is what I'm gonna do. 
my gosh, if he has an environment, we lose. That hurts so much. How did he make that? So what did he? How did he kill my? Uh, how did he kill my three three? I don't remember. Did we get a top deck here? Look at the brick guys. We're so. We're not running that many cards that cost six or more. It's it's eleven cards out of forty. One out of every four cards. We, they, we have all of them. We just have all of them. We're hopefully blocking the eight. No! Oh, you bitch. Why is this? Oh, no, 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 no. There is no way I got more spore. There is no... This, this game is going to crap right now. What am I supposed to do? I don't have an answer to this. I need a team up. I need a leap. Two and ten wins. Is there even a way of surviving with this with this crap? If we block all three of the other lanes, we could survive. So the the sad reality is that I'm not even playing any of the six drops this turn. I can't afford to. We need one of these not to land in the laser base. Alright, we're alive, guys. If we win this game, <laughs> if we win, if we win this game, guys, if we win this game, really lucky Morse for, ah, uh, never mind, we lose. <laughs> what am I, that, that, okay, that, you know what, we're running a, a deck with a decent amount of late game, and we just got ex hard bricked, I mean, hard bricked. Goblin 3 doesn't do anything, it's 2 and 10. Oh, you're right, it would have been two and nine. You're right, if I would have copped in three, that could have been an option. It would have, anyway, it wouldn't have changed it because he had the Infinity Club. We also would have been down to one health. Huh? Oh, uh, alright, guys. It's five and two. Oh my gosh, just like that. The, the answer is still not yes. We gotta win this game. We are essentially in a seven and two scenario. Yeah, guys. Uh, this will determine a lot of rides. <laughs> Luckily, we're not bricked again. Tieflurb? I think I know this guy. Sounds awfully familiar. This wasn't the brain freeze from before, was it? Nope. It was a different dude. Different dude. So, Berry Blast on two, uh, Metal Pedal on three, oh well. I can dream, can I? <laughs> Sucks, exactly. Just have to spam aggro. Alright, well... It all comes down to this, as if the stream wasn't exciting enough. All of a sudden, on a very fluke brick... What is a control brain freeze? Never seen anything like that in my whole while well, he played Nibble. He's controlling. It's control brain freeze. Probably running Plankwalker. <coughs> Man's probably right. I don't even know what he's wrong. What is this gonna be? What's a four call a pogo, I guess? If it's not pogo, it could be just Tomb Razor. It's pogo. Damn, we're getting wrecked here actually. So he's running. Early game Guardian Control. It probably even has some cyborgs just so can get one. Into Pogo Mug and Plankwalker. This hurts. This is not gonna be easy, guys. That's a Yeti. So we can do it like this. Might as well. I wonder if I try to spam more spore just to block this Yeti here. I think I shall. It could be a pogo too. Yeah. It also kills line dancing zombie in case it's that. Let's get it. Uh, if he's smart, he'll freeze the twin sunflower. He wants the block meter charge, but it's smelly. Here comes the mug. This is gonna hurt. This is this is someone who watches the channel, so kind of. <laughs> Kind of have some insight. What kind of what kind of deck this is gonna be already? Okay.
Everybody looking for some. The area 22 sucks here, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it. Area? Extinction. Yeah, the Morse Pour is always a mistake. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh my god, he has Galvanized. This dies. Uh, the good news is we have a lot of health. We're bricked in a different way. I think we're bricked in a good way now. We'll see if he plays a third dry minion. That would be really nice. A lot of stats. He's running sneezing. Against this hand, he's running sneezing. I have to play these anyway, which is quite sad indeed. I guess I'm going to spam this to keep a 4-4 on the field, right? Bro! Leave me alone, bro! I needed that sneezing zombie to die there. That was absolutely necessary. Can I get... <laughs> Thank the lord. I'm gonna do that... Next turn. I think I'll save this. We'll do it. I have to kill this before I heal him. Gosh. <laughs> We're getting completely opposite bricked. I need one of these lakes. No way! Oh, we lose. We're done. We lose the game. We just lose this game, guys. There's nothing we can do anymore. I should, maybe, I guess I should have weed whacked that, right? In case he plays Mug. But this guy's, oh man, oh, this guy's, this guy's sniping, right? No freaking way, bro. This deck was dominating! This deck was absolutely dominating. Is that the end of the game? Well, we have to block these two lanes. It's probably just a pogo when he wins. Maybe we're still alive? He's running hard too! Who runs sneezing again? This is the first sneezing zombie I've seen in three months! Totally not sniping though. God damn it! Well, I think this stream definitely brought out the strengths of this deck, and that was very fun, so all of a sudden the answer is no. I can't believe it. We were like 5-0. and oh. We were 4-0. and oh. That was crazy. But yeah, Sneezing Zombie, if our hand has four catching mechanics. Honestly, this deck can deal with Sneezing Zombie. There's only two cards that heal. It was just this hand that sucked. We needed one late game card. Oh my goodness gracious, we lost. I can't believe it. This deck was so good. We don't know it was a sniper. And honestly, is that really the deck that beats this deck? Pogo Mug, it's pretty good, but... It's pretty good, pretty good counter, but anyway. Oh. Come on, man. Anyway, the answer is no. That is going on YouTube though. That was a really, really fun stream. This was a really, really fun deck. We I don't we never got the secret cornucopia. We set it up a couple of times. 
We never got it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly did. Peace, this is Fry.